Hi all, uh, um, I've just come to edit my latest video and I was having some real camera issues with this exact camera. Um, so a lot of the stuff I actually recorded hasn't come out. So to fill you in, because otherwise it might not make quite so much sense, I left on the Sunday, I was going down to pool in Dorset from Stone Market, um, load of concrete, left around tea time, something like that. So that's the backstory to that bit. Um, I'll go through as and when, and if I find any more bits and pieces, then I'll just have to do it a bit like this. So it's a bit of a pain. I'm now home. It's a Saturday. It was over a week ago, I think. So I've got to do it before I forget everything that's happened. So uh, I hope it doesn't spoil the video too much. Um, so hopefully you'll still enjoy it. All right, on with the show. So we're off. Uh, it's about... In half a mile, uh, turn right onto Spring Road. Thank you. It's about half... Uh, 100 and, uh, a bit over 200 mile I think, down there. So uh, what I'm going to do is about four hours, four and a half hours driving, which will take me through to about nine, half past nine tonight. Park up, 11 hours off, which is half past eight. And I shouldn't be too far away. I've got a 10.30 book in with the crane to offload it. So I've got a, you know, if the crane's late, then I can be late. But other, otherwise it's uh, an expensive hobby being late. So as long as nothing goes wrong, we should be all right. So this is one of the worst bits of the journey, just getting actually out of Stow Market to start with. Never really designed with trucks in mind all these years ago, sort of before trucks were really thought of. It should be a nice sort of gentle mosey down the M25, shouldn't be busy by the time I get down there. I've got a rough idea of where I'm going to park. I uh, just have to see how it goes, see how long it takes. Because my timings are usually done from, you know, up at, um, at I or uh, Felixstowe, other places. It's a little bit hard to judge, you know, how far I can get in a day. Plus, all trucks, run, you know, trucks are limited to 90 kilometres an hour, 56 miles an hour, but they all run at slightly different speeds, and some are a lot quicker than others, and you can get further. I mean, this. This goes on quite nicely, you know, get past a lot of stuff. Same as most Volvos on the road, really, they're all a bit like that. loads down here for Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday but whether I was going to do any more or not I'm not sure but it's already changed apparently so I think it would just be do this one and it would just be empty back apparently and they, they never they never bother reloading the trailers so uh, that's quite nice obviously that can change <laughs> the wonderful world of transport but we'll see see what happens got about 40 just over 40 41 hours I can do this week on my 90 hour fortnight so we'll just have to see how it goes I mean it could tomorrow could well be a day of sitting about not doing much especially if it's windy or you know if the crane breaks down and various stuff like that but we'll cross that bridge tomorrow hopefully uh, hopefully it won't be too serious but back to Dorset, my home county, so I'm happy with that. Oh, 
right, so this leads me just down to the A14, so I'll turn the camera off now because it's boring really. Uh, see, what, see what else there is to film later on. Morning from a wet and uh, dreary <coughs> Monday morning. It's uh, quarter past nine, I've just set off from the label where I was parked last night and it sort of chucked it down most of the night, so not very exciting. Um, my, my mate John came out to see me, he, he actually lives about two minutes away from where I'm delivering, but there's nowhere to park the truck, so I just parked up there out of the way and just run down this morning. It's about half an hour, if that. So I've allowed myself sort of a bit of time to get in there, but he said it should be dead easy. Just sort of follow follow the uh, border, the pool road in and whatnot, and it is just down down by the sandbanks area, so uh, very exclusive. I should go and pick my uh, next home for. Uh, well, when I'm a multi-millionaire. <laughs> so, uh, I haven't heard anything from anyone, so I'm guessing the crane is there and set up and the first truck is tipping or tipped. So we should just get down there and hopefully the weather will improve. I don't want to wear my coat all the time. Um, see how it goes. So that, across the way there, I believe is the area known as Sandbanks, for those that don't know it. Uh, ah, and I can see the other truck, it looks like he's still loaded, so uh, it's good well be a bit of old job. Turn left onto Shore Road. So uh, hopefully I'll just take a little stroll and... Uh, Get some footage. Uh, uh, <coughs> excuse me. Right, let's go and see see what's occurring. Okay, so uh, what prediction I actually made on the Sunday by mistake. Um, got down there on a Monday and nothing happened. Uh, there was an issue with the scaffolding on the site, so by the time that got done and sorted out, it was then, the, the wind then picked up, and the whole day just got cancelled. So me and Phil, who was only a day man, on his first day's work since Christmas time, when he retired officially, got stuck on a night out, so the poor old boy had no night out gear, no anything, so he went off to a hotel, there was a little public car park just sort of up behind the houses where we were delivering to. So we just stayed in there for the evening. My friend John, who I mentioned very kindly, came and picked me up. Took me back to his for a bit of grub and a general chill out. And we reconvened Tuesday morning, bright eyed and bushy tailed. And we sat and we waited. And we waited a little bit longer. <laughs> so anyway, I shall leave the video to tell the story. Tuesday afternoon and I am finally unloaded 28 hours later so uh, that's a touch as such although I was quite enjoying sitting about doing chuffle and uh, badge you're doing the job for is getting demurrage for the truck sitting about so neither of us were too fussed so uh, just got to head back towards Suffolk stroke Norfolk now and uh, I think I think the last plan I heard was I was going to pick another load up but not for here, for somewhere else. So that could well have changed now. It's now two in the afternoon, so I'm not going to be back there till late. We're just beating the weather, it was fine a minute ago, and it's just now started hammering it down. So 
yeah, it's a productive start of the week. Still haven't burnt any diesel, not had a blowout, and I'm nice and relaxed. <laughs> nice little area but I mean I don't really see why the houses are worth millions and millions of pounds it's getting quite a nice sea view but you can go and buy a nice villa in Spain by the sea for a sight less money it costs you a sight less to run it and you've got better weather ah so that's the tanker that's the tanker that was emptying outside this morning he ain't got very far We went for breakfast this morning, me and Phil. There's a cafe just at the end of that little street. Ten pound, ten pounds for bacon, bacon scrambled egg, two bits of bacon, scrambled egg, one sausage, and a cup of tea. That's ten pounds. So I'm glad, uh, glad I'm not down there often. Couldn't afford to, get, couldn't afford to eat. good run round really got queued on the A1 <clears throat> but I've gone to the M25 it's pretty much been all right um, around here it's gonna get going again it's gonna come to a stop I'm not far from the M40 junction now uh, so I've just got to get around to the M4 onto the M4 and head towards Reading so uh, yeah do a bit more in a bit well I totally forgot to be honest to uh, <coughs> to restart the camera when I uh, unloaded in Doodah, where I've just been, um, Bracknell. So I unloaded Bracknell and uh, come straight back up here to Brandon to reload this trailer, but the, the load is for Friday, so I'm going to just collect it and take it back to the, the yard. I think I'm then doing a ferry trailer tomorrow uh, to God knows where. Uh, hopefully it's uh, already in down the dock. That'd be handy, uh, but more more than likely probably not. So pr probably drop this trailer and then either take an empty one down there or just go solo down to the Felix O docks and perhaps wait for the night there. All will, all will be revealed, but that might well have changed as well, of course. the yard I've had a shower the truck has had a brake brake roller test it, it needed and it's passed nicely um, I've changed trailers made a cup of tea uh, and I'm now on the way to Felixstowe to drop this trailer 
for export and pick another one up. Um, so I had to change. I had to change the couplings on the on the airlines. For those who don't know, European trailers have a different type of connection to British ones. They have uh, what's called a palm coupling, and it's much easier to actually connect up than a British one. So I've just had to take the ends off of the truck uh, airlines and swap them over. So uh, I can put a European trail. It only takes sort of five minutes and a couple of adjustable spanners. There's no uh, no real hardship. So that's done. I've had half an hour break because uh, I think I'm just going to head back. I'll come back to the yard tonight. I think to park up again, ready for the morning because it's going to be getting on. I can't go a huge amount further, and uh, I don't really want to be parked in the lay-by, getting buffeted all night, and having the curtains cut when I can park in the yard that's nice and secure. So um, that's the rough plan at the moment. So I'll get the Felix dough, get this one off, get my other one on, see how we're doing for time. Because I've only got, I've got a bit over two hours, but it's an hour and a half just down the Felix zone back to here. Uh, plus it's now five o'clock in the afternoon, so it's going to be sort of busy around the Ipswich area. So we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm in no mad rush. I've got a 10 a.m. Wolverhampton tomorrow, which is, a, I think it's about, on a good run it's about three hours from the yard top so I'll have to leave a bit earlier because there'll be traffic if I don't if I don't leave too early I'll be busy at Cambridge uh, if I do leave early then I'll catch it all around Birmingham so it's the usual story in Britain I've just got to decide just sort of leave with enough time to get myself around it you know and I'd rather be early than late Can't let me out. It's not the best junction here. Right. Do a bit in a bit. Ah, here we are down the dock again. Where I'll go. Just bumped into my old mate Dave Everard. He, uh, he pulls for the company that I started with when I left school all them years ago. He's been there 19 years, which is a scary thought. So he started the same year, I think, with, that I left. <laughs> Time just flies. It really, really does. So, we want Wyro 957. We had a bit of a disaster. I can't find my watch. I've... Uh, Took it off to uh, have me shower, and uh, I think hopefully I've just bundled it up in my dirty clothes and not left it on the floor. But I'm probably going back to the yard tonight, so I can have a look. If not, Wyro, which I think why, why, why? That's it, right in front of me. Where's the indicator gone? Five seven. Should be. <clears throat> Visby must be quiet if they're doing wind horse trailers. while I drop it. Well, <laughs> what a palaver. So the trailer was too low, uh, and then there was no lights down one side. So 
took around a 92 shed and it actually turned out to be the electrical line on the truck. So uh, swap that over. So it's now 20 past seven, now heading back to the yard. So I'll be there just gone eight o'clock. Have me break and carry on in the morning. <laughs> Excuse me. I mean, luckily, uh, time is still on my side, really, because um, 10 o'clock booking, I'm still, <coughs> even with a short break tonight. I still have plenty of time to get there, so uh, it's all good so far. Touch wood. Well, very good morning on a Thursday morning. I didn't actually start it this morning because it was dark. Didn't seem a lot of point really. Um, so I've just stopped at Corley Services for a 15 minute break. Just made myself a quick coffee and uh, now rolling again towards Wolverhampton. Still uh, an hour and a half before my booking time. So I think there's going to be a fair bit of traffic on my front door as usual, but such is life. So other than that, it's been quite a good run so far. and a bit blowy but the rain's finally gone anyway that's a start so uh, we shall see what today brings hopefully uh, nothing too serious I've found on the map where I've got to go in Wolverhampton doesn't look too bad but it's, yeah half past eight in the morning so it's not the best time you go through the middle of Birmingham, but there's no point going on the toll road because it's just more expense. And it kind of takes me past where I want to be anyway, so you've got to go back on yourself. So, uh, yeah. I should try and film something vaguely more exciting in a little while. So, that is Wolverhampton done to drive in this little yard so I've got a nice little reverse out onto a main road but thankfully I've got a nice chap to give me a hand so uh, it's all changed well slightly I'm now going uh, to Corby to reload rather than uh, rather than Wolverhampton M6 brings because it was absolutely stuffed when I come up here southbound but it's had a good couple of hours to improve so uh, let's take M6 south and A14 east in 500 feet not really the a bit. take the first exit onto Neutral's yeah, lane yes, I know where speed the camera reported ahead I'm not a, not a huge fan of sat nav I just wanted to have a look at where the uh, road is in Corby. I know how to get to Corby. It's not hard. So, uh, yeah. Let's uh, truck on into the sunshine and see uh, see what occurs. Okay, that is my Corby collection on, I passed two. So 
It's now back to the yard. The boss man's going to run it down to Felix Stokes. I don't know what he's got in mind for me. So, uh, I'll let this beam past because I'm a gentleman. Friday, it won't be too much of a mission tomorrow. So I'm hoping to get home at a half decent time to go and uh, have a beer with my mate who's just had his first child. As he's not been able to have one for at least a month, and I've not had a drink in February, so uh, it'd be nice to share a beer. But if I get home too late, that's not going to happen. I've got a busy weekend ahead, so uh, we shall see. got far more important things to spend money on the roads. Stuff like invading other countries for oil. Not that I'm cynical. Anyway, wah. as exciting as it is, I'll uh, try and do some even more exciting filming in a bit. Oh, I forgot to, as usual, I forgot to start the filming. Uh, <coughs> good morning. Uh, Friday the 3rd of March 2017. I've just delivered Wolverhampton. Second day in a row, although a different place this time. That was a dairy. Uh, put for 7 o'clock, but the fault of driving didn't turn up to about 20 to 8. There we go. It's now uh, 10 to 9. I'm now heading up to Telford for a reload for Holland, which will just be back, I guess, to the yard. So I don't know if I'll actually have the driving time to go to Felix, so drop it and bring something back if there is anything. So, as long as it, hopefully it's ready, that'll be nice and get it, get it on and start heading back and I'll uh, stop and have a bit of lunch. And then two on back, that's the the rough plan. We'll see uh, see what happens when we get there first. If I'm sitting about for hours waiting to load, then I shan't uh, shan't be stopping for lunch, I'll be punching on for home. I got up at three o'clock this morning to, to leave. Oh, is your indicator not working, mate? Well done. Left the yard at half past three, quick splash of diesel, and it's about three and a half hours round to place is just sort of out the centre of Wolverhampton where I went. So, uh, so far so good other than the weather. Well, it's a very, very British thing to do moan about, well I'm not moaning, just commenting. I'm not fussed about the rain today, as long as it's not rainy over the weekend preferably, although I'm going to North Wales so there's every chance that it will be. <laughs> they do like a bit of rain in Wales. So uh, yeah, I shall uh, do a little bit more in a little while. We are loaded, loaded in Telford. 
11 o'clock, so uh, not too bad. So start heading for home now. This will just be back in the yard and someone will take it down over the weekend and I'm done. We shall see. Six and a half tonnes, so it's nice and light for heading back, ideal. Stop and treat myself to a bit of lunch. <coughs> I don't know where all this traffic's come from. Come on! bit of the journey of the week <clears throat> back to the yard three o'clock so it's not a bad time to finish so by the time I faffed about and cleared the truck out of my stuff that'll be about half past three it's a 12 hour day so it's not too bad and then nip, nip home home and have a nice cup of tea See what post awaits me. I'm sure there's lots of exciting stuff in the post. It usually is. So all in all it's not been a bad week really. Um, sitting about in pool seems so long ago now at the start of the week. Um, <coughs> another load of concrete down at uh, where was it, Bracknell and then a couple of trips to the Midlands. So Nice bit of variety. Fair bit of hard, I say hard work. It's uh, certainly harder than what I'm used to. And, uh, but no, it's been fun. I've enjoyed it. Seen a few people out and about that I know, and I think they might have even seen me to give me a. I've just been waved at somebody, but I don't know who, who the hell it is. <laughs> Feel quite bad now. Hey ho. Ah, uh, yes. <clears throat> so all in all, on reflection. Um, driving standard in the UK at the moment is just abysmal and it's not just car drivers it's tr ignorant truck drivers as well they're 
I don't know if they're the majority or the minority really, but just stuff like if you're overtaken or being overtaken by someone who's slowly getting past you, just let off. Just knock the cruise control off just for two seconds. Let them go. We've got a bad enough name as it is already. Just just let them get out of the way, let them get back in and let the cars go past. Don't just leave them hanging in the outside lane and don't just boot it when you see them alongside you because you're not paying any attention. I expect car drivers to be bad drivers because there's plenty of them. But truck drivers I expect a bit more from really. So I've seen plenty of bad driving as usual. The roads are it's like going across Africa. Uh, the government really need to invest well, any money in some of the roads because it's just the surface is diabolical. Oh, and uh, uh, and hardly any of the major trunk routes are fit for purpose anymore. They're all just too busy. They're, the A14 should be made motorway all the way through with a hard shoulder for breakdowns. The M25 is just uh, just a disaster, really, day and night. But there we go. That's uh, that's the modern world we live in. I realise I'm rambling a bit now, so I do apologise. Um, I guess this will be the last the last part of the diary. So I'm off, I'm off next week. I'm, I'm taking uh, about 11 days off, I think it is, before I go away proper again. I've got some scuba diving to do, some people to see, uh, got a bit of writing to do, I've got, I've got quite a busy old week next week, I haven't got time to work really, it's a shame I can't get paid to do the stuff that doesn't involve driving really, but maybe one day that will come, you never know. So uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I hope this has been of interest, I know it's just been around the UK, uh, I've tried to you know, fill my ugly bush a little bit more than just, just the roads. I don't know how much I've managed to do. The camera's really playing up. I've, I should have an insurance claim form for it. It's out at home waiting for me. I need to sort that out, unfortunately. So this is it. The last 100 metres or so. Back to the yard. He's finished. Long weekend. Holly May. Eh? 